Okay. All right. Thanks, Asaf. Um, so my name is Elena Lachin. Hello. Uh, I'm from the Community Relations Team at the Foundation, and I'm here to talk to you about Wikimedia Space. And I'm really grateful to be here uh, talking to you about Wikimedia Space, especially in light of the conversation that we just had uh, with Asaf's presentation. Um, Green mentioned specifically challenges about the lack of centralization of information, and you gave events as an example, not quite knowing what's going on even near you, much less far away from you. And it's too bad that Emma left because she was talking about challenges with governance best practices um, and understanding really what other communities are doing that's working for them. And this project is designed to resolve uh, those issues, among other issues. So I have a uh, sign-in sheet, no obligation to fill it out, but if you'd like to, that'd be great. It's just helpful for me to know who's interested in, in the project and learning more about the project. Okay, another clicker. So I want to start with some questions first. Have you ever tried to search for specific information in a WhatsApp chat or a mailman archive? You're like, oh yeah, I think we talked about that a week ago. How do I find that? Right? And you can be scrolling forever on your WhatsApp chat or going through the mailman archive. Have you ever struggled to keep up with relevant conversations happening across many different platforms? Facebook, Telegram, mailing list, MetaWiki, uh, and more? Have you ever seen conversations veer off topic? from the original conversation and become unproductive or unhealthy? All the time. All the time? <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever felt unwelcome or unsupported anywhere in the Wikipedia movement? And finally, have you ever felt lost trying to reach other communities or trying to reach the Wikimedia Foundation? What if, what if there were a central welcoming place where conversations were organized, respectful, and searchable, where you could ask questions and share stories. Where you could ask questions and share stories across regions and languages. We can use space. Wikimedia Space is a single platform for collaboration. It has two sections. It has a blog section where community members and groups can go on and publish news, updates, anything related to what's going on in their communities. And it has a discuss section, discussion board, where people can come and ask questions, anything pertaining to Wikimedia in any language. It's a prototype growing through global participation and feedback. So it's still very much in its early phases and it's relying on communities like yours to be developed. It's multilingual. It already has localized UI and you can already post both on the discuss side and the blog side in any language. And there are gonna be more multilingual features developed very soon and I'll talk about that. And then finally, and maybe most importantly, it's safe. It's governed by a code of conduct, and there is active moderation to ensure that it's welcoming to people of every background. So what can I do here? Hearing blog and discuss might not be entirely intuitive of really what the possibilities are. Part of what I like about Wikimedia Space is that um, the possibilities are really endless. It's built on open source software, and so technically we can really make anything possible. Any tools that communities feel like they need, any way that space can support them, uh, we are investing in that. But let me show you first um, what features are currently available and what's currently being built to kind of get an idea of what you might want to do with your space for your communities. Also, I'll save questions till the end. I'll leave about 10 minutes at the end for questions, and if you feel more comfortable asking a question in Arabic, Jack will be helping me. Okay. So first, let's go to the blog. This is the blog section. And the blog is just a feed of the most recent stories from across the Wikimedia movement. People are publishing about all sorts of things that they're doing, and they're publishing in their languages as well. Whenever anybody posts anything to the blog, it's really important 
important to us that the content be interactive and that people are able to ask questions, comment, share. So what we've done is anytime any po anyone posts something to the blog, it automatically cross posts to the discuss side of Wikimedia Space where people can reply, comment, like, ask questions. And this is what it looks like. So here on the left, we have a blog post. You scroll down, you see a little button called that says discuss this post. You click on that button, it takes you to the version of that exact same post on the discuss side of Wikimedia Space, where you can like, share, reply, um, interact with it in any way you like. And there's also this nice little bar of engagement that shows how many views the post has, how many replies, who's been interacting with the post. So it gives you a really nice amount of insight into who's interested in your content. But of course, blog posts are not the only thing that go on the Discuss side. The Discuss side is open to any sort of question and comment pertaining to Wikimedia. So this is the Discuss side, um, the main page. And it's a list of all of the different topics that you know, all of the most recent topics that are being discussed. And I'll point out a couple of different things to note on this discuss side. So ask a question. That little button is available on virtually every page of discuss, making it really easy for you to just click there and ask anything you want pertaining to Wikimedia. These are the categories. So everything that you post on the discuss side of space goes in one of multiple categories. You can choose one category based on what you think is most appropriate. So there are lots of categories already available on Discuss. Uh, we have regional coordination, project coordination, events, uh, gender gap, uh, research, campaigns. Those are just examples of some of the categories that already exist. And our learning channel. That's exactly what I was going to say. Probably. Learning channel is perfect for this. I hope that we um, can create a learning channel category very soon. Um, but yes, this is a great example. Categories are being built every single day based on what people say they need. Communities come to us and say, hey, this, this happened the other week. Um, hey, I don't see a campaigns category. Can we make it? I'd like to start posting blog posts about the campaigns we're doing. Yes, of course, let's make it. Um, and some people want little categories for their um, user groups or for their chapters, and we can do that too. So it's being built every day based on what people want. So that's the category. And then this text that's next to a category, um, those are tags. So everything that you post goes in one category, but then you can pick as many tags as you want to show the user exactly what it is that you're talking about. And what's really cool about the tags and the categories is that they're followable. So if you decide, hey, I'm really interested in new features on space, see that new features tag, you can click on the tag and follow it. So that every time a new feature is announced or released, and that tag comes up, you will get a notification about it. If it's the opposite and you absolutely hate something, like you say, oh god, oh I don't want to see any more events, I don't go to events, I don't like them, you can go into that category and hit mute. Then you'll never see an event again on Wikimedia Space. So it's very customizable based on the content that you want. Hmm, we're going yellow here. <laughs> Speaking of customizable, we're now yellow. Okay. I guess. I don't know if you can turn on my Yeah, it's a, it's a daylight thing yeah. from a different time zone. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, so very last thing on this homepage. Again, uh, throughout Discuss, engagement is always prioritized. To see what's going on, uh, who, who's talking and about what is really important. And so here we have all of the avatars of the people. You want to make sure you get every single detail about it, just follow it, and you'll get an email notification every time anybody posts there. Okay, so another important thing that Wikimedia Space is offering that people are taking advantage of is closed groups. On Wiki, there's not the opportunity to collaborate only amongst your trusted peers. Everything is public, and of course, yes, Things should be public when they can be. However, we recognize that for certain groups, especially groups that deal with maybe sensitive or controversial material, it's nice to have a closed environment where you can collaborate and talk to each other safely. Um, and we know that there's a demand for this, right? Because people have left 
that people have stopped talking on Wiki to go to talk on WhatsApp or go to talk on Telegram for that reason, right? Like WhatsApp and Telegram aren't great discussion platforms, but people go there because they want a little bit of privacy. So we felt that it was really important to offer this option on Wikimedia space as well. And there are a number of groups that have already taken advantage of this and are already talking in those groups. All right, centralized calendar of Wikimedia events around the world. Um, so this speaks to Rick's point. Um, this is a calendar where volunteers have already gone and started hosting their events from all over the movement. It's super easy. All you have to do is post in the events category that we talked about. If you add a date and time to that event, it will automatically show up on this calendar. And you can link to this calendar from anywhere. We are working on the ability to embed this calendar directly on Wiki for people who are interested in that as well. Maybe even cooler than the calendar is a feature that I really like, which is the interactive map of Wikimedia events around the world. If you add a location to that event, it will automatically put it on this map. And then you can zoom in and see what's happening in your area, or if you're visiting a new area for a weekend, you can see what's happening there. <laughs> Maybe drop in. Okay, so maybe you're starting to see, all right, so this is nice. Conversations are very organized, they're searchable. I can have my own host group, seems good for collaboration, but maybe there's still the question of how do I know this space is going to remain safe for me and my peers? And how do I know that my voice is going to be reflected here? So those are questions I want to answer right now. Community flags and moderation is the way that we are ensuring that Wikimedia space will stay safe for everybody. So remember I mentioned the flag button before. Under any post, there will be this flag button option. If you click on the flag, you get this dialog. You can either decide to talk to the user privately, send a private message saying, hey, I feel like your comment was a little bit disrespectful. Can you rewrite it? And they can go rewrite it. But if you don't want to talk to them personally, there's also the option to notify the moderators of the forum. You, both, you, you notify them privately. You select which of, the, which of the reasons that you're flagging. Maybe it's inappropriate. Maybe it's harassing. Or maybe it's just off topic. Maybe the person posted in the wrong category or with the wrong tag. Um, and you can flag it to the moderators and the moderators can move the comment to a more appropriate section or a more appropriate tag, which keeps everything organized and again, keeps conversations from veering off topic. That way, when you actually want information, it's very easy and very searchable for you to be able to find exactly what you want without these kind of distracting uh, side comments. We feel like the ability to report privately is extremely important. This is another problem that we see on Wiki. Sometimes people who report experience harassment or retaliation because they that I don't do. Um, but also, the, the community moderation group is not just going to be in charge of enforcing the rules, they're going to be in charge of writing the rules. So we purposely have kept things very open as of now because we want community members who have the real expertise to come in and build it together and make sure that all of the policies and practices on space are inclusive and representative of the different regions of the Wikimedia movement. But governance and moderation is not the only thing that's important when it comes to being inclusive. Um, we also need to make sure that content is inclusive and representative of the amazing diversity we have in this movement. So, we're also setting up a global editorial board where interested volunteers can come and join the board, help find content to publish on the blog, and revise that content to, to go on the blog. And that way we make sure that all of the different voices from all the different regions of our movement are being represented um, in the community. And like I mentioned, we're building features together. So the entire development process of Wikimedia Space is guided by community feedback. There is a discussion category on Wikimedia Space that is devoted entirely to developing Wikimedia Space. And it's called the Space Feature Requests category. And people get on there and they tell us what they want. They tell us what they need. They tell us how things can improve. 
And it could be anything from as small as, oh, like there's a bug where I can't quite see the text completely on the event screen. Okay, great, and we can fix that immediately. Or it can be a request for a much deeper feature that's going to take months to develop, um, but anything and anything in between. And we uh, take a look at these requests and we carry out as many of them as we possibly can and we prioritize them. But there are requests being made every single day and improvements being made every day from the communities. Some examples of things being built right now. As I mentioned, the multilingual features are already in place, but they can be much more refined and developed, so we're working on that. We want to get it so that users can customize their experience to see only language and the content, uh, content in the languages they speak and in no other languages, if they want to. Some users may want to see content in languages they don't speak, that's fine, they can leave it that way, but for people who want to see only the content in languages they speak, we want to make that possible. We're also working on media wiki integration so that notification, content updates, and search work perfectly on both platforms and seamlessly across both platforms. If you get a message on Wikipedia Space, you'll get a notification on your wiki that you received a message on Wikipedia Space, for example. Also, improvements to the map and calendar features. The map and calendar have been extremely popular so far, so we want to make them as easy to use as possible, and we're working on that. Uh, customizable categories. So like I mentioned, some chapters and user groups are coming and they're wanting their own category or they're wanting a closed group. And we want those spaces to be customizable so that people can design what it looks like and really make that space feel like their own and make it reflective of their own voice. And then finally, like I mentioned, the constitution of the editorial board and the global moderators group is something that's happening now as well. So, joining space is now extremely easy. You just log in with your Wikimedia account, you visit this website, log in with your Wikimedia account, you create a space account. I would really love to have all of you there. Like I said, it's new, it's brand new, um, and now is really a really exciting time to become part of space because we are just building constantly, every day, and having really exciting conversations. Um, and we would love to have you all be part of that. So. Join the community space, and I'm very easy to find there. If you have any questions that don't get answered today, feel free to ask them on Wikimedia Space. <laughs> All right, any questions? Yeah, Rina. Uh, thank you so much. This is amazing. Uh, really, it's awesome. Um, let me ask you one question, please. Uh, because it is listed on the apps, does it mean that I have to access it soon for Brigitte? We used to have a Fabricator login, but we just put in place the Wikimedia login last week. No more Fabricator, log in directly with your Wikimedia account. This is super big because Fabricator, for some reason, does not open in Egypt, and I don't know why. I know, and it didn't open for me here yesterday either, so it was meeting the entire region for able to access yes. it. Same problem, not, not a problem anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yes? First of all, the feature I really loved was the map and the calendar. Yeah. That was amazing, having everything on one page. And the second thing is that, what about communities with conflict? Like, the Greek community is notorious for conflict. Uh, what if this, this, like, usually having a Greek interface just means that whatever conflict is on Wikipedia is just gonna move into Wikimedia space? Mm -hmm. Who's gonna prevent that from happening? The moderators group. <laughs> so, like Greek, I said, yeah. um, yeah, this space is subject to a code of conduct, and everybody is expected to behave respectfully. Of course, you can debate one another's ideas, but you can't be disrespectful towards one another. Um, the mo it's equipped with really good moderator tools, so it's very easy to warn a user about their behavior. It's very easy to silence them for a day, two days, three days, four days. Um, you can suspend the user. You can kick them off permanently. There's lots of different measures that you can take. And part of what the Global Moderators Group is going to do is decide exactly how that progressive discipline should work most effectively um, by discussing amongst each other, because you, you all are the experts here, and we want to make sure it's a policy that's fair for people. Okay, so yeah. a follow-up on this question. What if the moderators, like, not every, like, language is minority language, minority language is like Greek, okay, so nobody from the English community is actually going to care about you know, what was happening in the Greek community. Uh, so they're going to have trusted persons, and what if these trusted persons, these interfaces, 
are actually in the moderators. I'm speaking from personal experience. Like, what if these people that are actually causing the problems are also moderators? Mm -hmm. Well, that shouldn't happen, hopefully. <laughs> because the way that the trust system works, not only do people need to be participating on the forum, but they need to be getting positive feedback from their peers and positive reinforcement in order to move up trust levels. So if somebody's just getting on and saying nonsense or being you know, counterproductive, they're not going to get enough likes, they're not going to get enough engagement in order to move up. And if there is a problem and people see that somebody's moving up, we can handle that as it comes. But the system is built to not allow disruptive people to move up that high. Great, and on top of that, I would also suggest that because of things, they're not fine here. So there is going to be a set of rules that everybody will have to adhere to when we need something fresh, something new. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just concerned yeah. about the yeah. same kind of toxicity going into a different space with sure. a different name. Sure. That, well, there's already, it's fantastic uh, yeah. in all other aspects. No, they're great questions. So um, there's already a code of conduct in place that's based on the code of conduct for technical spaces. But that's not the final product. There's going to be a lot of work with the team that's also working on the universal code of conduct right now to test out the Arabic UI. I've heard that there is like a little bit of discrepancy in terms of all of the general content in the UI is Arabic. The customized content that we've created is in English, and we're going to make it translatable very soon. ...and uh, to give a space to share among, among the different communities. I'm, uh, I'm reflecting on the, on the existing spaces like Village Pump, right. the, the, the chapters, blogs, um, how this fits together, which uh, content can be um, directed in this uh, space, yeah. and which uh, should be decentralized in, uh, in each uh, chapter uh, area. Sure. And this is my first question. The second question would be, uh, how do you... Um, and um, communicate to the community centers, I mean, the, the most active uh, users and, and the most active uh, the, the ones who take responsibility mm -hmm. in order to uh, transition to the space and, and enjoy the advantages of it. Sure, sure. So, um, I have an answer that I think will answer both questions. So, we've decided that right now we're prioritizing movement organizers to come to space. Sure, we'd love to have, you know, really power contributors on space, and that would be great. Uh, but we really want to focus on the needs of people like the people that attend this conference, right? People who are helping train other Wikimedians, people who are organizing events, people who are talking to other communities to exchange strategies and talk about partnerships. This platform is really built to facilitate conversations and news sharing across regions and across languages. So. You can really bring anything from Village Pump here, and if you want to talk directly about with only your community about it, you totally can. We can set up a category or post for you, and you can do that. But where the where space really, really excels is in those cross-regional, cross-community type conversations. And because we are focused on movement organizers, our outreach right now is happening mostly at events like this. So we're going, we're speaking, we're engaging interested people. At some point, we may decide to post to all of the village pumps, um, but because we're we're really trying to focus on the people who are whose needs are not being met on Wiki, it doesn't make sense to only do on outreach on Wiki because they might not be talking on Wiki. They might be talking on Telegram or Facebook or WhatsApp. So that's the that's the reason why um, you know we're coming to these types of events to do to do our outreach and supplementing with other types of trainings with interested people as they're. You start with level zero, um, but it's pretty easy to get out of level zero. You just have to like some posts, comment on some things. You know, it's it's not too hard to move from zero to one. Um, but part of the reason for that is is actually at, at her question, which is there are a lot of people uh, on Wiki who have attained a lot of power on Wiki who maybe aren't the most helpful and productive from a community leadership perspective. So we really, really did not want to repeat that dynamic on Wikimedia space. But if you are a productive contributor, it is not difficult to move up. Anything else? Was that a question? Was that a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, someone who has been, like, let's say, for 10 years, and I've been super active, active in the past 10 years, yeah. so maybe he, he got uh, access to be 
trust level four yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. We don't grandfather in uh -huh. with the experience. People all start from the same position. Yep. Yeah. It's not a question, it's just a comment. I really like the logo and the color. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I will tell Hong, the designer, she made it. Thumbs up. And if you like it, get the sticker. They're in the goodie bag. <laughs> Put your sticker on your computer and get people jealous and ask people, how can you get space? What we please, the only thing I'm talking about right now is how do we actually get people off of Facebook and the mailing list and uh, the WhatsApp groups and the Telegram groups and whatever they are using, how do we get them, or well, not off, but at least on this? Yeah, well, we got to get them testing it out. Like, I'm like, this is what was saying. Like, so it's a good way to start a conversation by saying, hey, let's experiment with this. This is new. This is a prototype phase. There are some communities who are experimenting with this. I think there's good conversations happening here. Let's see if we can make it work over here. Get people interested. Get them signing up. And I think quickly they'll see that it's a much, much better discussion platform than Facebook or the other platforms that they're on. And then once people see it, it's just really its own merits that will help bring conversation to Wikipedia space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually just have a quick addition. Uh, I have the same question, like, you know, everyone goes to these platforms because that's what they use every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but what I, what I find a really good feature about space is that it sends these regular email updates about conversations you're interested. Mm -hmm. And you can follow me, and that's also helpful to. Oh, oh yeah, of course I have to check back. So uh, there's features in there that help you know, yeah. uh, also stay connected through email. Thanks uh, for adding that, yeah. Andre. Yeah, that keep you involved. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I have another uh, proposed answer to Reeves' question. Um, I, I think you shouldn't try to get people off WhatsApp. Right. Mm -hmm. You should try to get them to use space for one thing, for starters, and you know. You, Stay, stay involved in your Facebook or WhatsApp group. Stay there for the casual chat, for the kitty pictures, or whatever. And when you, for example, want to bring up, hey, let's, here are these slides that I've had, and let's talk about experimentation, that you can prepare as a post on space and link to it from the WhatsApp thing and say, let's discuss that thing over there. So you're still in the WhatsApp, you're not telling people to stop using WhatsApp, you know, but you're suggesting this slightly more structured discussion on that topic. Mm -hmm. Do that once, do that twice. Eventually people will see the benefits of this bike. Thank you. Thank you. Like there's two things that I just want to say. Uh, this is like a forum. Uh, yeah. It's that's what I like about it. It's, it's like this threads. Um, like Wikimania, everybody says it's a telegraph thing to do. Uh, so this list of messages coming in all the time well, is impossible to keep up with it, but this is what you can keep up with. Yeah. But another thing, I'm trying to log in right now, and it's asking me for authorization to access my emails, and then I'm saying, allow, allow, and it won't take me further. It won't log me in. Are you logged in on Meta? Yeah. Oh, I have to log on Meta at the same time? Yeah. Well, it leads to that. It leads to that. It leads to that. Okay, I'll log in on Meta and then try it again. Yeah, but it should it should work regardless if you're putting in your correct Wikimedia uh, yeah. credentials, mm -hmm. then it should. Yeah, we can figure out after. As I learned this week, I had never gone and activated my email on MetaWiki. Uh, so then, ah, uh, that's right. Yes. I just used MetaWiki, and then it, the email itself had remained unactivated. Really, it requires it requires an email to you. Uh, it it because because it uses your email to identify you as like a single identifier. So it, it so means people have not fed an email or will not be able to use space? Until they put in an email, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you may need to verify your email address on Wiki. On on on, on, meta. on meta. Yeah, but we can take a look. Okay. I, yeah. It may just be a Wi Fi thing. <laughs> it should be pretty easy. Yeah. Are we gonna use this? Oh yeah. Okay, so okay. so it, are there any plans to make it open or uh, have uh, other options to register without a kind of media account? Maybe I'm from outside of media movement I would like to open this friendly space place to make a tool or I'm interested but I'm not involved like a Muslim editor. So, no, in terms of opening it to people who aren't part of Wikimedia because we really want to protect it as a place for Wikimedia, mm -hmm. for the movement. However, the content that is on Discuss and the content that is on the blog are visible to anybody. Yeah, that's So if you write something on the blog, 
and you want to send it to a potential partner or a potential donor, that's fine, they can see it. They just, they can't comment or like or any of that because we want to protect the interaction just to be for the community. Will they see comments, you know? They can see comments, yeah. They can see comments. Yes, everyone me. If I understood correctly, it, it uh, feels the very urgent need of sharing a uh, information about communities. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's about specific topics and it's about the uh, way of discussing uh, uh, in a way that it's trackable. Um, but I'm thinking about the need of uh, having direct chat, synchronous chat, mm -hmm. that it's not being addressed in any of the platforms yes. of the Wikimedia. Yeah. And uh, I'm wondering if, if this is a further step or, or that's a great point, and yes, over the medium term, we would like to explore chat options to add to space. Yes. Right now, you can still direct message people and all of that, but it's not, it's not as instantaneous as something like a chat would be, so we see that a chat would really help supplement the communication on Wikimedia space. So yes, in the plans, for sure. Uh, Reem, and then did you have a question? Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know if moving because I'm just going to take that. I have just uh, a little question about categories. Yeah. Uh, can users add new categories if uh, their position, uh, for example, doesn't belong to any categories that uh, the, the forums address? So the re regular users cannot add new categories themselves, and that's on purpose. That's because we don't want just a huge explosion of categories that nobody can follow. No. Um, but you can request the category be created, and there's a post about how to do that. You basically just ask the admins, hey, can we open this category? Mm -hmm. And almost always the answer is yes, unless the answer is actually your topic would belong in this category that already exists. Yeah. All right. Thank you.